Well, hello everybody, it's Rose and I'm back. I'm doing the fifth unboxing from the Uyijia factory store. So I bought six diamond paintings from them recently. I bought them in different sizes. The smallest size is 40 by 50. The largest size is uh, 60 by 80. Um, and I bought a couple of both of those sizes and then um, some in-between sizes. All right, so I'm not sure which, well, yes, I do know what this one is. I believe that this is called the Stained Glass Butterfly uh, because I'm, it's the last of the smaller ones. Yep, Stained Glass Butterfly it is. Okay, so before I get into the diamond painting and uh, the drills and everything, I'm just going to show you the kit that comes with it. So it looks like I've got three uh, baggies, a little bit of wax, the bent end tweezers, a regular one placer, and the regular green boat, which I'm happy with. Okay, that's good. Let's um, separate this out. Now I'll show you the image. There we go. That is the diamond painting. I thought it was just beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now these diamond paintings all come uh, wrapped in cling wrap and wrapped around a foam core. So let me find the end of the cling wrap, which is always a challenge. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to let the um, canvas relax a little tiny bit uh, before I unroll it and flatten it and everything. I'm not sure if that's actually necessary, but I don't want to take any chances. There we go. So, um, and there's the foam roller. And I like the fact that they use the big fat foam rollers. Um, so this canvas, like all of the others, is perfect. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this canvas. Um, so I am going to show you now. I'm just gonna lay it flat a little bit and then uh, just push it aside. I know I'm in the shot, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna push it aside while I open up the drills. Now, um, I'm going to stick right here uh, a scrolling info banner that will tell you um, all the information about what I paid, the size, you know, how, when I ordered, when it was shipped, when uh, when it was delivered, etc. And I'll give you the price in uh, Canadian and U.S. dollars. In case you want to order it too. All right. So I mean, you can well, you can't see the colors, but. Uh, I don't think you're going to be surprised that there's a delightful array of colors in this diamond painting. Okay. Because I do like my color. All right. So let's just um, pull this back a little bit here. I want to make sure it's all in frame. Are you going to be able to see it all? It is really curly. Yeah, you, you'll see it all. Okay, once it's flat, you'll see it all. Well, let's do a better job. There we go. Okay, so one of the first things I notice, once again, is that the glue extends 
all the way to here. Um, like they didn't cut the glue straight. So I will actually be doing, uh, I'll do a little video um, showing how I trim the glue, uh, the adhesive off. Uh, because I don't, this is, this is wider than a strip of tape will be, or the washi tape. <laughs> Hippie, quiet. Nope. Uh-uh. Um, this is actually wider than the uh, cellophane tape that I have, or washi tape that I have. And so um, I'm not even going to try to cover it with tape. Uh, I'll just I'll just cut off the um, the excess the excess adhesive. Uh, it'll take a it, it's not hard to do. And if you watch the video, you'll see how I do it. This really wants to stay curled up, but that will be—it'll be fine once I uh, once I pull this paper back. All right, there we go. Now I can go almost to the very edge of the drill field because it extends for, you know, a centimeter and a half beyond the drill field. Okay, so that is this canvas. It's pretty nice. You still can't see it all. You can see my, yeah, okay, you can see most of it now. There we go. Um, really, really nice. Brilliant, brilliant color. It's interesting. I don't see, well, I'm sure there is a lot of 310 in it because of the stained glass effect, but it doesn't jump out at you from uh, looking at the canvas. What you see is just this beautiful butterfly. Okay, I'm going to take you in close to show you the um, legend down the side and the drill field. Here we go. First the legend. And again, there's the rendering, the thumbnail of the uh, of the diamond painting. And here are the symbols. So these are uh, the same symbols that I've seen on the other Uijia diamond paintings. And uh, while I'm gonna have to come up with names, for these, um, I, I don't mind that too much because they are exceptionally clear and easy to distinguish on the canvas itself. Uh, I'm not going to be confused by any of these symbols. Super, super, super clear. Now, um, what what I have right in the middle of the can't look up the viewfinder right now is up and down arrows and I don't know about you but they look like they're almost exactly the same color so um, because I will be working on this diamond painting I'll start uh, at the top no I'll start it yeah I'll start at the top but I'm gonna start with it upside down I'm actually gonna have to keep in mind um, which which way uh, the arrows truly go and then I'll be flipping the diamond painting around when I've got about nine inches done here uh, because then it'll fit anyway it's just the way I work um, but what that means is I have to be really really careful about symbols uh, that um, are mirror images of each other uh, because we also have we also have this right arrow, or the left pointing arrow there. Do we have a right face? Uh, we, and we have a right facing arrow. So those will also be inverted when I've got the thing upside down. So I have to be really, really careful 
uh, with the arrows. I wish they wouldn't use arrows on diamond paintings, but oh well. Um, nonetheless, they are very, very clear. Very, very clear. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's that. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put you back in the holder and I'll cover up the diamond painting. And I will then do the inventory of the drills. Okay, and this one, um, the glue was, um, the adhesive was laid just with a slight, very, very slight overlap. Um, and I didn't lie, lie it down perfectly flat or straight, but that's okay. I'll, I'll close that little gap up later. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to move the camera. Okay. So the other thing I should mention is that we have uh, 35 colors here. All right. Here we go. 38, 38, 3. And, oh no, I've got four of them. I've got four, so that's a plus one. All right, and um, as I've learned from the other four canvases that I've already opened, Uichiya store uh, sends way extra on their drills generally. So, uh, uh, no, plus, plus one. I got two of 3820. I only needed one. 3813. One, two, three, four, five. And I only need four. And look what I see for the very first time on a Uyijia. Well, it's the second time. There's a little piece of trash. So I will be a little bit more careful. Um looking at some of these drills in this color uh, because I have not seen, I think I might have seen one tiny bit of trash before and uh, in all of the, you know, five, well, four other diamond paintings that I've opened so far, two of them were 60 by 80. I think I only saw one piece of trash. Um, so, but other than that little sort of string of of uh color of resin uh there's nothing there's nothing else that i notice about these drills they do have dimples as i noted in uh, my previous ones uh previous videos on on this company but um but i'm not i i don't know for sure that those will uh lead to a bad experience so uh, 38, 13, yeah, I marked it off. Okay, 38, 11, I have two. Thirty-six, oh seven. One, two, three, four, and five. Um, I really probably only needed uh, four bags because there's probably more than 200 in here and I only need 810. But they made sure that I had plenty of extras. 600, I need one bag. They gave me two. That is a beautiful color. Wow. Okay. I've got to say, the diamond paintings from this company, they have the most exquisite colors. Okay, so there's a little stowaway there. Um, but uh, 304, I needed two. I've got two. 554, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, that's what I need, um, again, they probably could have gotten away with sending me just four bags, because I only need 806, and there's probably spares there, but, um, but they exercised an abundance of caution, which I'm happy with, 550, 
I needed two, they gave me three. Four thirteen. I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They gave me seven. So 413 is one of the colors that I was missing before. I was missing eight bags of it uh, in, I think, the second diamond painting that I opened from them. Um, so far, I've made up two of those eight bags. All right. 30, uh, no, 367. I need six bags, one with a little, with a little uh, stowaway. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, I only need 1,024, and I've got at least 1,200 here, probably closer to 1,300. 340, I need four bags. They sent me four bags. Three eighteen. I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They sent me eight. These are probably my three tens. Okay, so let's see what I've got. Yeah, three tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Uh, 29. So I have an extra four here. Now there was um, one bag that I opened, uh, one diamond painting that I opened yesterday. Um, night painting at, or night fishing at Antibes by uh, Picasso and um, I thought I had been missing um, five bags of drills it turned out they sent me eight extra bags I just I, I, I think the drills had fallen off the table I can't remember um, anyway they sent me eight extra bags of drills not five short so uh, and again, looking at these three tens, uh, they look they look good. Yeah, they look good. Um, they're flat. These don't have dimples, actually. Nope, these do not have dimples. Now I I see a round one in there. Um, they look pretty good. Nice sharp edges. No little pseudopods or melty feet or tabs or anything like that. Yeah, nope, they look good. All right, there's my three tens. One fifty. I need one, and I've got one. 666. I need one, and I've got one. 154. I need three, and I've got three. But again, 429. There's probably more than 429 in these two bags. So I'm good with that. 161. I need seven bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am loving these colors. Absolutely loving these colors. Okay. Um, 3836. One, two, three, four, five. Plus one. 6.44. I have three. I only need two. Seven sixty-two. I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
But again, I only need 1,032, so I doubt that I'm going to need to break open uh, the last bag at all. 780. I do like this color. Um, I need four bags. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to have, I'm sure, over 200 spares. Seven eighty-two. I need four bags. I've got four bags. Oh. Um, and I only need I only need six hundred and twenty-two. So I'm gonna have a lot of leftovers. Seven ninety-eight. I need one bag. They gave me two bags. There we go. Seven ninety-seven. I need two. They gave me two, but I'm gonna have about a. Uh, I, I'm gonna have about uh, sixty left. Eight twenty. I need six bags. One, two, three, four, five, six. They gave me seven. I'm just going to make sure that the ribbon of uh, bags doesn't come apart. 823. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright, this is mystery number. No, it's not. This is 890. I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight. So um, my spare drill stash, I'm going to have to get a bigger box because there's going to be, by the time I, I get finished all of these diamond paintings, there's going to be a scad of extra drills. Uh, 917. I need three. They sent me four. Nine thirty six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one more than I need. Okay, I love this color. This, oh my goodness, nine ninety five. Um, I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven. And did I see trash? No, I didn't. No, no, it was uh, just a partial drill because uh, the rest of the drill was hidden by the 995. I, I, like, I see no trash. I see no drills that have cupping or that are hollow, um, concave, whatever you want to call it. There's no um, bubbles in the top. There's no little feet. There's no tabs. They're, they look to be of a consistent size. These drills look perfect. I have to do one of these diamond paintings really soon because I have been raving about, you know, the perceived quality of the drills. And I want to let people know sooner than later if, uh, if the perceived quality just from looking at them is... Um, is not borne out by actually drilling with them. Oh, and the other thing is, 
I haven't come across a single bag of greasy drills, oily drills. So 30, 52, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They sent me 10 bags. This lovely fuchsia pink. Uh, and I'm looking at it more closely because um, because the packaging on it is different. I'm just wondering if the drill quality is different, but it sure doesn't seem to be. And the drills are sparkling. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the drills are sparkling uh, even through the um, cellophane package. So they sent me one more than I need, which is fine. All right, getting down to the end here. Uh, 3608, no, 3808. Another beautiful color. I need nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here we've got a few more stragglers or stowaways, not castaways. Um, from other, from other bags, and I lost my train, I, I lost my count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, okay, so again, they sent me one, two of extras, now, I suppose it's possible that there are only 200 drills in each bag, but I suspect that there are more, Okay, 3810, I need five bags. One, two, three, four, five. And I've got six. All right, so just going down the list here, there is nothing missing. Let's see how many extra bags they sent me. One, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. They sent me 26 extra bags. That's amazing. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm very happy with this. Love the image. Uh, I love the fact that the drills are all here. They seem to be good quality. The canvas, um, the, the, the image on the canvas, the charting is beautiful. Uh, the only concern that I have is that I do have those up arrows, down arrows, left arrows, and right arrows. And because I work on my canvas um, upside down for the first uh, foot or so, um, nine inches, I will need to keep in mind as I'm drilling that, uh, that those symbols are upside down. But other than that, I have zero concerns with this. I'm really, really very happy with it. And uh, so there you go. That is my review of the stained glass butterfly from the Uyigia store. Thanks, everybody. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to click down here and subscribe. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, because uh, that will incite me to make more videos like this for you. Okay, thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.